So I got asked by a lot of people to make a video about the stigma behind welcome signs and welcome mats and the fear behind them when it comes to witchcraft. Honestly, there is nothing to be scared of. It is simply just a new age witchcraft stigma that honestly, there's ways around it either way, but it's not even a rule, guys. It is a belief. You either believe in it or you don't. Personally, I don't, but I like to make extra precautions, and here I am going to show you guys different ways to take extra precautions if you found a very cute welcome mat or a very cute welcome sign that you want to have in front of your front door like I do with mine. So, if you have protection and warding down and set, you literally have nothing to worry about because if your home is protected and warded, there is nothing that is going to allow negative spirits, negative energy to get into your space. But if you don't, here's a way around it. So first and foremost, we love some Italian witchcraft, some folk magic. I take some olive oil and just put it into the corners of my welcome sign. You can do this on the bottom of your welcome mat if you have a welcome mat. And then if you want to be extra, just do the middle, which is what I did. But um, this is a great way to protect your home from any negative energy, any hexes, jinxes, curses, anything like that, any baneful magic. Um, another thing that you can do is take some Sharpies. I love these little Sharpie pens that I use. Turn that welcome sign around or turn your mat upside down, babe, and go ahead and draw you some protective symbols or sigils or runes, whatever you have on hand. Now, I have um, some that are... I had a whole ritual with this shit, so <laughs> um, these are not the ones that I originally used, but I don't like sharing personal sigils, so we're going to just be using some protective runes, a pentacle, if you will, um, but again, you guys, seriously, if you believe in it, you believe in it, but this is simply just a stigma. This is not something that you have to do if you have a welcome sign or a welcome mat. Now, um, with mats, you know, I'll make another video on that. I don't have a welcome mat, but I do have a mat and I will, you know, make a video on that eventually for you guys on what, you know, I like to put under my mat to keep my home protected and sane. Um, but yeah, so then you can use some color magic and grab like a yellow marker or something and draw in ways to simply just bring in positivity and abundance is something that I really love doing with welcome signs and welcome mats is welcoming in positivity, welcoming, welcoming in prosperity, welcoming in abundance. Um, and another thing that you guys can do is actually write a short little petition. If you want to add names um, of the people in the household, you can. But on this, for, exa for an example, I just did write, you know, I rebuke any negativity that, you know, wants to come into my home and only welcome in prosperity and abundance and positivity um, and just kind of left it at that. Um, but yeah, so other than that, again, you guys, this is just a stigma. It's something to make you fear these things, but there are ways around it. I hope that this helped you guys. And other than that, blessed be.